We're here at what is soon to be one of Calgary's newest restaurant institutions, Rodney's Oyster House. And we're here not with Rodney, but his son. And his son is maybe just a little bit more talented than his dad. You are the world oyster shucking champion. I was as close to it, yeah. This year I finished second in the world, but I was, I, I have represented Canada the last uh, six out of the last seven years in um, uh, Ireland for the world oyster shucking championship. So like the Olympics, do you have a, a medal that's uh, like just an oyster shell, or do you have like a, a jewelry collection that's all oyster shells? Imagine that. No, um, sometimes people get pretty creative. Uh, in Ottawa, they give you a big, um, they take big beach oysters and they spray paint them gold and they give you a big necklace. It's a funny part about that is you put it on and then halfway through the night, you're Next, all cut up from the shell. I need to learn how to uh, uh, shuck oysters, and yeah. you're the guy that's going to show me. So, what's the first step into shucking an oyster? You take this knife and you, you you just slip about a quarter of an inch of it into the hinge here. So, when you go into the oyster, once once you sort of locked in there, the knife's in there. Now it's a matter of a bit of torque. So when you torque, you just pop like that, and then what you're doing is you're you're pushing away the shell and you're cutting the top. So you've disconnected that top muscle, and then you take a little bit of grit, if it's been in there, and you get that out, smooth it over with your finger, make it look pretty, and then shovel the bottom so that the oyster is now ready to be consumed. You can bring it up to your mouth, take it back, and then chew it up. Okay, so let me give this a try. You're gonna you're you're gonna take the mic, yes. and I'm gonna try to hurt myself over with the oyster. Oh, I hope you don't. Now I'm gonna I pick you out a nice fat one here because this oyster here has a nice big hinge, so you'll be able to sink that knife in there. Now, what I suggest if you're at home doing this, um, you go in and you grab your oven mitt out of the uh, out of the you know whatever your pantry or whatever, and you put that on because that'll help you um, in case you do stab yourself. It goes into the mitt rather than your hand, right? So in this case, we're gonna put the towel over top. You're going to hold it firm, and then you're going to work your yeah, work it in there like that. Pick the lock. Okay, so I'm just going to... Break and enter I'm going to break and enter the oyster. I'm going to jam it in the hinge. Yeah, and a little bit of and torque, and up. keep on wiggling. Now, I make it look easy, so don't get frustrated here. I don't think I'm going to win the world oyster show. Hey, right you're on your way. This is how you start. This is how I started. I sat there, okay, and I... Okay, so I've got, the, I've got the top off of the oyster. I think you nailed the only baby stuck to the and oyster. And I'm going to slurp it back. <laughs> how do that? Let's hope we have a good dental plan there. <laughs> You know, it's sometimes it's best to leave it to the professionals. So if you if you want to attempt to shuck at home, go ahead. But if you want the professionals to handle it, come on down to Rodney's, and they will teach you hopefully how to shuck an oyster professionally. From Rodney's Oyster House, learning to shuck, I'm Ryan for Shaw Go.